So we're going to be showing you how we attach the needle positioner synchronizer onto a Juki DDL8700 in this video. It's not a real short video. This is not the briefest process, nor is it for amateurs. It, it's a little tedious and there's a definite need to be mechanically inclined. So we're going to start out with this KMNP 750 needle positioning motor with synchronizer. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and what we'll find is the 750 watt electronic servo motor with a 110 volt synchronizer for automatic needle positioning. This is the complete kit here with the electronic motor, on off switch, pulley synchronizer, digital output. We're going to be going through this step by step. We're building the DDL8700 in this video. We're not going to include the building of it. We're going to skip around those parts. We're going to show you how to attach, you know, everything from the motor mount, the motor, uh, the wire management, all that kind of good stuff. We're going to flip it over and then we're going to show you how to attach the synchronizer and then finally show you how to sync up the needle positioning synchronizer so that you may use the machine the way you intend. Now this kit has other parts in it that also allow for you to attach it to a Juki 1541 for instance. It can also be attached to some brother machines that don't already have them built in already. So this is a universal kit. So it really depends on which machine you have as to the approach you're gonna take. We're just gonna cover the DDLD 700 in this and assume that people who have other machines either can glean what they need from this video or are more mechanically inclined and don't need to do anything but take a quick peek at it. That in mind, here we go.
Okay, so once you empty the bag of parts for the needle positioner, what you're gonna see is the main chunk of needle positioner, a couple of brass screws, and there's gonna be an adapter, a brass screw, a regular colored screw, and then another little plastic adapter part. What you don't need is this plastic adapter part. It's actually, it's just not that great. Uh, normally what you would do is take the brass screw for the Juki or this regular screw for the brother, and put them together like so and fit them into the hand wheel. But instead, what we're gonna provide you with is one solid piece. So this is actually what we're gonna use to connect to the hand wheel to connect this. And what we're gonna use for the Juki DDL8700 is the smaller of the two brass screws on the tighter threaded side, which has a little bit larger diameter. So this slightly larger diameter is what we're looking for. And it happens to have two black nuts on it where everything else has brass nuts. So this is not necessary for the 8700. Uh, it's probably for use with the 1541 or a different type of machine. And we're just gonna be focusing on this part. And this is the mounting bracket. So. Throwing these out, don't need them. For the 8700, we don't need this. So all that we're left with is this. Needle nose pliers, flathead, Phillips head, and a one inch wrench.
Okay, let's sync it up. Now that we've got our synchronizer installed, we need to make sure that the needle is where it needs to be. We got lucky on the first try. So the deal is this, the needle should be down, about to come back up, and that's the position you want it in when you let off of the foot pedal. If it's not in the right position, just follow these instructions to adjust it.